It's changing. It, it, it is. And, and like changing dramatically. And I think the factors that have made it change, first of all, is we have a lot more science and there are a lot more people like me out there working on it that, right. are, that have studied sex addiction and are prepared for it. It's now in the comprehensive textbook of psychiatry. Psychiatrists are starting to draw a bead on it. Um, the, the Clinton experience helped. In a very strange way, it was, uh, I, I wish the Clintons no ill will in this. I really, I think they've had s many struggles and they've given much. But the fact that there was a public discussion. I remember the afternoon when the Monica Lewinsky thing came. We had every major network, um, newspaper wanting a diagnosis of Bill Clinton between 1 o'clock in the afternoon and 2.40. I remember where the place just went up for grabs. Right. And, of course, that's something. I've never, I've never met Bill Clinton. We, we don't do that over the phone. We don't. That's not how. But what was interesting was to hear the reporters talk because the reporters started using language, anxiety reduction, compartmentalization, the language of therapy. And if you read what was written afterwards, why a person would take the risks that were taken, right. I mean, and the stories that are now documented. What that did is it brought us, if we were like 30 years behind, brought us forward maybe 10 or 15 years, and then the thing that people can't seem to duck, or two major things they can't duck, the internet is changing everything. It's changing our sexuality, it's changing our culture. No spouse can compete with the internet. And what, what, what do you mean by that? No spouse can compete with the internet. Because uh, you know, I mean, I think of in my marriage. Um, I've been married uh, to my wife Suzanne since uh, 1995, and just what it takes to deal with her. I mean, it's. Uh, I mean, it, she's a. Uh, she is. Uh, to have a good relationship takes so much uh, work and right. stuff to deal with one really good woman, and it's kind of how we have evolved over time is to be able to deal with a person one at a time. Uh, most cultures find that serial monogamy at, at works best. Um, however, when you go online, you're looking at 50 pictures. And you pick one and it takes you to another deal and there's 50 pictures more like the one that you picked. And so it becomes a selection mechanism and it takes you to a place where it gets you to some of the deepest places sexually that people live. And so you can be instant messaging five people. You can have the amount of stimulation. Remember what I said about you can't be a recreational user of meth? Right. Okay, online, if you really get into it, it gets to a place, especially if it gets to what we call accessing the unresolved in people. There's a, in Harry Potter, do you remember the Harry Potter story when Harry found the mirror of Erised, which was desire spelled backwards? Yes. And he saw his parents and then Ron came and looked at it and s saw himself being carried off the Quidditch field and Dumbledore came and said, boys, when you look in the mirror, you see what you desire the most. You have to be very careful. People have been lost in the mirror. Hmm. And what happens online is people get into things that they can't do.